what I just did against that strategy, literally one of the best strategies in the game, is insane, okay? So, yo, what is up, guys? It's your boy, Modrix here, back with yet another bag of we're gonna be playing some my pit booze only so let's hop right in today's video if you guys are in fact new to the channel do not forget to click that subscribe button and also while you're at it drop a like on today's video it's gonna be a banger because it always is i made burritos is gonna end up being our first opponent he looks pretty good for sure pretty decent rankings and whatnot on the global and prestige leaderboards we got the map yellow brick road and i'm actually really down for this okay i'm gonna end up going ng spike battery farm and seeing where that takes us so without further ado let's just hop right into this one boys gonna buzz the vibes and we shall indeed win he's gonna be starting off with a set of attacks right at the beginning of the map which is kind of weird okay most people don't do that but when people do do that they just want round one to end as quickly as possible okay so maybe he thinks i'm going with eco not exactly sure but we're gonna end up starting off with a farm regardless on our side i'm gonna send him a little bit of eco as well and he has the heli okay it looks like he's actually going to be ecoing and since he's starting off with the heli that is telling me that this man is probably going heli village sniper okay it is the absolute most broken strategy that's currently in the game so i would not doubt it for a second so we're going to, have to end up upgrading to the 1-1 one, one engineer it sucks man and with the constant eco we're actually already really struggling i'm gonna go with for the more bananas though first because i need to go for that and then after that i have got to get an engineer towards the beginning of the map okay i need to end these rounds a lot quicker so we're gonna set this bad boy to last and then we're gonna eventually upgrade this to the nine inch nails he ended up sending us some space pinks too but i think we should be pretty good against that so i'm just gonna tank those lives and save our sets attacks he's literally got his heli all the way in the back of the map boys he really does not want these rounds to end this quickly okay but with our engineer at the front it's gonna really really hurt him okay i think what we're probably gonna have to do is be aggressive here on round six okay this should force a boost on his side it's really gonna affect our farm game but i think personally it's gonna be worth it we are not going to be boosting these greens um, but this is going to make him stop ecoing for a second he's gonna have to decide whether or not he wants to boost upgrade some of the line of lines of that okay but we're going to be able to send constant greens for a minute even a quad darts will not help this young man okay so he's going to end up attacking it and ultimately boosting okay so we will 100 take that even with the boost this man is still leaking ends up using another set of attacks it's not looking good for him ladies and gentlemen okay he actually literally might go down to these greens i'm thinking he is he's literally yeah he's dead <laughs> No way, boys. That is unbelievably OP. That has got to be the new meta when going against Heli Village Sniper, okay? He 100% was going that. Oh, and just to clarify, boys, in Battles TV, it does in fact say he was going Heli Village Sniper. Checkmate is going to be our next opponent, okay? So I just want to reiterate this. I already know I said it, but dude, what I just did against that strategy, literally one of the best strategies in the game is insane okay so if you ever are going against a heli user just assume they're going heli village sniper because they probably are because it's the most broken strategy in the game however it's really weak to round six greens so i would highly recommend you always send greens towards the heli user because they might end up boosting and then still they just can't defend and you'll get the easiest one of your life just thought i'd let you guys know that because that actually that, that, that blows my mind anyways though check me he doesn't look too good okay so Probably just going to end up going with the Spike Factory once again because I just love it. So without further ado, let's just hop right into this one, boys. Good and positive eyes and we shall indeed win. We ended up going Boomer Spike Factory Farm, which I absolutely adore, okay? Obviously, I would not ever recommend going with the strategy on this map because why? But I guess we'll just see how it works out for us, okay? Um, it's kind of hard to actually get down a farm on this map, okay? I will not even lie, so... That literally actually might just be an issue for us. Because I remember the last time I played on this map, I literally just could not set down my farm. Like, it was impossible. It used to be way easier, but for some reason, NK just was like, Nope, we're gonna make it way harder. And he's also sending me constant reds. I'm currently sending him constant reds because, yeah, I already tried setting down the farm, and it's pretty hard. So we're gonna have to eventually go for this Bionic Boomer. We're already leaking consistently, so I'm probably gonna just save up money here just to go for it. There we go. And by no means are we out of this game, okay? We actually literally have exactly 69 lives, so this is a sign from God that we will win. I'm gonna stop egoing, though, okay? I really need to try to at least get one farm on the map. There's only one farm spot, okay? So I'm gonna try my best, but no promises. Oh my god. 
I'm also gonna send him some space blocks, okay? He's kind of greeting. He's sending me a lot of green, so I just don't think he has enough money in order to upgrade. There he finally goes. He stops. He's been so aggressive, but I literally had this farm spot going for like a split second, but now I can't find it, so I'm sad. And these space blocks were a little bit effective, okay? He ended up leaking down 11 lives, so let's go. But yeah, it looks like this uh, farm is just not going to happen, unfortunately. I had it for a split second. And he's gonna end up sending me yellows. Dude, he's over ecoing, okay? So I'm just hoping that he does not have any... Uh, good other towers and then we might just be able to win this game on round 13 because it's just not looking too good for us i won't even lie holy crap he's literally just not stopping this guy's freaking nuts should i go for another bionic boomer to help us clean up now we don't have 69 lives oh <laughs> you're gonna regret that bro you are going to regret that oh no he's a freaking sub bro oh my gosh i'm gonna end up sending him a pink rush here might scare him it definitely is okay there's a boost at least we got a boost out of him, boys. At least we did. We literally have no camera detection at all, though. This is literally so bad. I'm thinking we just all out him with a regen yellow or pink rush or regen rainbow. What am I saying? And that might just kill him. It's going to regrow around that bend, and hopefully it does end up killing him. It's going to be so close. It's going to be so close. I died of the AI, though. DC equals clown. Wow, man, that last game, that, that really hurt my heart, I won't lie. I was literally seconds away from winning, but the AI just killed me, man. I had to sell all my towers. It was just a stressful situation. I could not get the farm to save my freaking life. But it's fine, okay? We're gonna hop right back into another game. We're gonna win this, okay? I'm sorry, bro, but you're going down. So once again, without further ado, let's just hop right into this one, boys. Good and positive vibes. We gotta bounce back because... That was a joke of a last game. But also at the same time, like, it's really not my fault. I just couldn't place my towers down. Like, game just let me freaking do it. I don't know, boys. It sucks. But we're going to end up starting off with a farm. You already know. And then we're going to get this engineer. I'm late to it. Oh, my goodness. We're also going to send the young man some Miko his way. Okay, looking to force that grape shot upgrade on his side. So I'm going to send a lot of space blues behind those reds. And hopefully we get that upgrade, okay? Because that would be pretty nice. And I'm going to be upgrading to the sentry gun, okay? We're probably going to eventually get it anyway. So I'll play it safe, boys. I'm also going to continue being consistent with these space blues. Because I think, perhaps, space pinks will be effective here on round four, okay? So let's start to send those. And maybe I'm going to be wrong. All he has to do, really, is just set that uh, boat to last and he'll be good. Um, so yeah, I, I definitely think I'm wrong. It's fine though, boys. Everybody makes mistakes. We're gonna go for this plantation because we can and he's just tied with us in the farms. So maybe we can go for another farm before the end of this round. We should be able to, but if we do, then space blocks will in fact be an issue on the next round. But I think we can manage to tank a few lives because we still have 127. So I'm feeling confident, boys. Let's get down this farm. And he also went for another farm. I'm going to send the young man some space blocks his way. He's going to have to at least upgrade to a faster shooting. There he goes. Okay, so I'm probably just going to stop with the space blocks right then and there, okay? And he's actually going to send me some space blocks. So I'm going to put this one on last. And I'm probably going to also get another 00, zero engineer. And uh, I might tack this once. Oh my gosh, we leaked down so freaking low right there, boys. Down to 59 lives. I'm going to attack it once at least, dude. That sucks. But trust, boys, we will bounce back. We got two plantations, so a decent farm game is coming our way. I might just be able to go for another 1-0. It will be a little bit risky, so I'm actually going to go back on that. I'm not going to do that, okay? That's just too risky. And he's also going to end up sending me freaking yellows, which is actually really surprising. I did not expect this. Um, so I'm just going to get, obviously, a lot of 0-0 engineers, and uh, that should be able to clean all of those up. Only ended up leaking a few lives, okay? So... We will take it, boys. I'm going to end up going for my balloon trap right up here, okay? I'm going to start getting it right now. And we should actually be able to afford it here in a second. Oh, my gosh. No, we're, we're really short, actually. We're really short. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so I'm just going to attack that, get up a 0-0 zero, zero tower, and help clean that up. What in the world was that? He's up an entire plantation, too. I'm going to go for a 1-0. Hopefully, please just don't be aggressive on round 12 with the camo rush. That would really hurt my feelings. And he just went for a Republic? No, 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 no. He did not just do that. Okay, so I want to send the young man a little bit of a rush. He won't be liking that. Ends up selling a farm. Okay, so that's exactly what we wanted out of him. We will take that. I'm literally only at 30 lives, though. So I got to get a 0, zero Spike Factory at least in the back of the map in case he wants to send me like a round 15, round 16 rush. Because... 30 lives is not a lot to leak at all. It is now round 15, okay? I'm gonna end up going for my Republic, and we're gonna see, oh wait, he ended up selling all of his towers. What, oh, to get a BIA. 
This guy's freaking nuts, boys. I'm going to send him a little bit of a lead rush here. We're just looking for a boost upgrade, some along the lines of that, because that's going to be a lot of lives, uh, potential lives that he might leak. He ends up boosting finally, okay? So that's exactly what we wanted. Going for the BIA in that situation was pretty risky. I will not lie. I'm going to have to upgrade to at least a 2-2, by the way, in the back of the map in case he wants to send me a mob, which I don't think he's going to. He has two destroyers, though. Okay, so... That's going to be kind of hard um, to kill him, but I think this mob is kind of necessary here, okay? So, it's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to send some leads all underneath it, too. It's going to be pretty hard for him to defend against, and hopefully he just ends up using a second boost. He ends up attacking it all three times. He's probably going to go for yet another boat as well, and I'm staying really, really consistent with these leads, okay? Just making it a little bit harder for him, and he ends up boosting once a freaking gun let's get it boys so we got him down two boost but he's got three destroyers now on his side so his defenses are pretty good to say the least i'm not entirely sure what we should do i went for a third republic he might send us a bfb on this round and uh switch the aggression because he has not been aggressive really at all but i've probably got to make a move like i i definitely have to three destroyers bro like that that is pretty op okay we could send him maybe a bfb and then like a mob i don't know bro that might just not be worth it i'm definitely getting quite a bit of money though for my balloon trap which is super nice so maybe i can actually go for um this facility here okay and he ends up selling his bia and just went for a facility what i don't understand that move at all uh but he ended up sending me a bfb okay so i'm actually thinking we're gonna be good against this okay we can sell our republic if needed we got the spike factory already on the map in the back so i'm just gonna collect all this money that i can and i'll probably just end up using our first spike storm after it turns this next corner we got eighty six hundred dollars okay so we got quite a bit of money indeed i'm gonna play it safe here though sell a republic spike storm that once spike storm that twice and that should be pretty good okay and yeah we got a lot of excess money okay so I'm going to end up going for this farm once again down here. There we go. Get the valuable bananas and get this Republic going. Okay, so that AI kind of looks bad. Hopefully our spike ball goes in, in the back of the map. Oh my gosh. Okay, this, so that was kind of close. You ended up going for a double facility and I can't get this next farm. Okay, that really, really sucks actually. So I, I've got to make a play here. Okay, round 24, I'm thinking we'll just send him a lot of leads within the AI and uh, hope he struggles with that, okay? I'm gonna have to sell this Republic too because like the spot is messed up, boys. Dang it. Okay, and there we go. We got both uh, farms now on the map, which is super, super nice. I'm gonna end up sending him a lot of freaking leads on this round, boys, okay? And uh, he's not gonna be liking that. It's gonna be a little bit harder for him to pop, obviously. And with three destroyers, oh, he ended up getting up a big one, I think. And are we dead to the AI? We are. Well, boys, I'm going to wrap up the video here, okay? So I think that was a pretty good game, although we did lose and choke to the AI. I thought our balloon trap would go in for us, but unfortunately, it did not, okay? And we ended up dying to the AI. The spike ball also didn't go in, but that's okay, okay? So I hope you guys still did enjoy. Make sure to drop a like on the video if you did. And also, I already make sure to click that subscribe button. All right, so the last question... I asked y'all in the last video was, what right of my strategy was worse in the last video that I got all right in the answer? is ace glue balloon chipper all right so this guy won congratulations man in the next question i will be asking you guys is what is the balloon that is very very op against the best strategy in the game heli village sniper make sure to leave your answers down below in the comment section and you may have the chance to win a shout out in the next video which is obviously dope i hope you boys did enjoy once again it's been your bubble tricks or justin peace out everybody